Do you know a kiwi that fends with its feet and smells like a pro? It's definitely not this fruit kind. I'm here at the Smithsonian's National Zoo at their birdhouse where I'm just so excited today because I get to meet a real kiwi. Come with me, we'll go meet the keeper. So Kathy, who are we meeting here? So today you are meeting Pip. He is a brown kiwi from yeah. the North Island of New Zealand. Uh, he is an endangered species. Pip hatched here at the Smithsonian National Zoo about two and a half years ago. So he's what we consider a young man. Okay. <clears throat> this is not the kiwi that most people are used to seeing. No. <laughs> <laughs> what, is the, what is the connection between the two? Between the fruit yeah. and the bird. Uh, the fruit is actually uh, Chinese fruit called a gooseberry. Okay. Um, it was in, the vine was imported into New Zealand in the early 1900s. They started exporting it in, probably in the 1950s. It really became major because it looks like a little brown hairy kiwi and to some people. Mm -hmm. um, it became known as the kiwi fruit. I noticed he's got some really weird looking feathers or almost kind of like whiskers around yes. his face. Those are specialized bird feathers. But we believe they use them just like cats and dogs use their whiskers, which is to feel around in the, their environment. I see he has a very long kind of beak, or you mm -hmm. call it a bill. Mm -hmm. What Either is special way. about that? So, kiwi are the only bird in the world with their nostrils, what they breathe from at the very tip of that bill. You're watching him and he's sticking that long beak into the, into the dirt and he's looking around, and he's grabbing worms. And, but occasionally they will get stuff up their nose and they will do exactly the same thing you and I do when we get stuff up our nose. What do you do when you get stuff up your nose? Uh, I, I kind of blow it out? Yeah. So you may hear him snorting, yeah. and so what he's doing is blowing his nose just like you and I do. The reason why they have that weird and wonderful arrangement, though, is because they have the best sense of smell of any bird in the world. Wow. Yeah. And so I've heard he's got really strong legs. Uh, kiwi are flightless, so they have strong, big, thick legs with very long toes and very sharp nails. So guess why they have them like that? Uh, so he can dig? Uh, part of it, but that is how kiwi defend themselves against other kiwis. So it's those feet that you have to watch out for and not that beak. We're obviously getting to meet Pip up and close. Yes. Can other people come and do the same as we are? At the Smithsonian National Zoo, this is our 25th year of doing Meet a Kiwi. Um, it's a public program. Um, we do have limitations of about 15, 20 people. This is one of the only places in the world that you get up close and personal with a kiwi.